All right, y'all. So tonight was Monday Night Raw. Crazy opening of Monday Night Raw, man. Let's get straight into it. They booed the hell out of the building for The Rock, man. When The Rock's name came up, when his face on the Triton Tron came up, it was just boos, man. Even Michael Cole was like saying how, good Lord, man. It feels like we went right back to 1996 or something like that. And as far as the many years that I've been watching WWE, tonight I can tell you is the first night that I can say I reluctantly saw The Rock get booed. Obviously, after everything that went down this weekend, which the WWE has not only acknowledged, but they have um, pretty much acknowledged it the entire night, any chance they get about how Cody basically got snubbed and they also kept mentioning the press conference on Thursday, which is definitely going to be very, very interesting to tune in with again because Rollins came out and he cut a promo. He called out Cody and pretty much asked Cody, like, all right, are you going to make your decision? Like, who are you facing at WrestleMania? And, uh, you know, Cody was about to make his decision, but Drew McIntyre came out. And, uh, yeah, Cody never made his decision, so... I'm not saying he might make it. I'm, he's gonna make the decision at the press conference or the little face-off on Thursday. He might, uh, but Thursday is gonna be really interested to tune in, definitely. Um, but to be quite honest with you, watching Monday Night Raw tonight, you know, I thought that the show was kind of mid. To be honest with you, the tag team turmoil match. Uh, I mean, the, the uh, fatal four-way tag match was really good. I really enjoyed that. That was a really good opener, and. Uh, you know, we saw DIY get the win. You know, it is insane to me that DIY is getting actually really starting to really get reactions, man. You know, it's really good for them. So they're going to face uh, Butch, I mean, Pete Dunn and Tyler Bent on SmackDown. And the winner of the match will go on to face Judgment Day at the Elimination Chamber. Uh, we heard from Rhea Ripley tonight, and it's made official. Uh, her and Nia Jax are going to face each other at the pay-per-view. So you have that match as well. And, uh, yeah, Rio was, and Nia attacked each other, and they had to get pulled apart. So I thought that segment was pretty nice. But um, you had the tag match, the mixed tag match with Maxine Dupree. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't, I ain't going to lie to you, man. I really have no comment on that match. That match did nothing for me. I It was the definition of a bathroom break. Even with the women's tag later on in the show, man, I was just not really feeling that match at all. And, uh, you know, Miz and uh, Jaden McDonough, that match was okay, uh, you know. But uh, our truth fun, still funny as hell, man. You know, they they beat him up, and he thought that when they attacked him last week, they thought he thought that was, like, the initiation. So our truth still thinks he's in the judgment day, and it's just God, man, our truth, man. But, um, yeah, uh we also got Elimination Chamber qualifiers starting now. And, uh, we, you know, the Elimination Chamber for the women is going to obviously decide who's going to face Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. Uh, Becky took on Shayna Baszler tonight, and she beat Shayna. So she's going to go on, you know, to the Chamber, and Liv's going to face Zoe Stark next week. That should be something there. And uh, Gunter, looks like Gunter's next challenger is going to be Jay Uso because they did a... 600 day celebration and Jey Uso came out that was a nice little back and forth they got but um yeah Jey Uso and Gunther I'm assuming it's gonna be on Raw because they ain't gonna be at Wrestlemania you know I think you know they're gonna do Jimmy versus Jay I could definitely see like once the match happens I could definitely see like they do a scenario where it, when it seems like Jay's gonna win Jimmy comes in and costs Jay the match and uh that really like fuels the fire between those two brothers for Mania. And then the main event tonight, obviously, Shinsuke and Cody in the bull rope match. And, you know, I thought it was, ugh, it was okay. You know, I wasn't really all that special, obviously. Um, but, you know, Cody won. This feud is pretty much over at this point. You know, Shinsuke really is pretty much done for. I mean, he, he lost his food completely, so... There's really no point of him really going after, you know, Cody after this anymore. But uh, that was pretty much Raw tonight, man. So that was my Raw review. And, uh, yeah, you know, that press conference on Thursday is going to be something, man. Or that get-together, whatever they call it, on Thursday. It's going to be something, man, for real.